Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing the Mimi 1.0 app. What we're looking at right now is the initial screen. Well, kind of. I, I just clicked on the top text field. So I'm just going to type something in and then return that and type something else in. And so you can see that I have the, the, um, the keyboard show up every time I click. And if you did, if you missed it, what, once I clicked on top, once I clicked on the word bottom, the text automatically clears. That's that's something I set up in here, which is really helpful. And then we go into album to pick a a, a picture. There's a lot of flower pictures in here. I don't really know why, but all right. There's never mind. There's no flower pictures. I could have sworn I saw a flower. But right here we have a meme and we can go landscape for another type of view and we'll share that and it doesn't really share there's it doesn't really share it anywhere but it but you are able to save it into your album and go right here yes yeah, see there is freaking there's a flower right there But here we go. See, it's it's saved properly. Um, so what happens is this view controller gets a, a self capture, and the toolbar and nav bar is in the way. And so whenever a meme is generated, I can show you right here. Right, generate meme image. I set up a method inside that to to hide the, the, the nav bar and toolbar before the meme is created and re-show them up again once it's done, um, I guess, taking all the different aspects of it. Here's the struct of it. There you have the two text fields, the image name. Um, I forget what... Oh, never mind. So... What else? What else? What else? Within the text fields, you also have to set up some attributes, like making them um, white on the inside, black on the outline. They have to be proportionally distant from each other. They have to be centered. They should also, um, like the more that you text, I guess that doesn't matter. Yeah, but the more that you text, the smaller the text actually gets. I mean, I never really see a meme with that long text. So, yeah, you got the, the buttons all set up there. And the view did load is where you call your keyboard notifications. And once the view is, is uh, appeared, and right here, camera, dub, camera button is enabled. I'm not sure why they, I, I guess it makes sense for the final product if you want to put it in the app store but I'm just going to be keeping this on my github profile but yeah the, the camera button is properly disabled because if it ever gets downloaded on an actual iPhone it will enable properly and you can actually use the, the photos from your camera um, this right here so once you like I said before when you click on the text bottom and top it automatically clears the text with just empty, empty, um, what are those things called? Empty quotes. And also the keyboard height. So, so if you notice, when the keyboard goes up, it goes up right below the, the, the text field. And that, there's a reason for that. I also made, made a function so that when you hit return, it, um, it goes back down the keyboard. But, okay, so, did you see what happens? When I click on the top text field, nothing, the, the screen doesn't move up at all. But it does move up when I click the bottom. Because if, if, I, if it moved it up, the, when I click the top, the same distance from when I click the bottom, you wouldn't be able to, to see the top. The, the, the top would go off the, off the iPhone screen. Um, I guess that's about it. I showed you 
pretty much all things that are necessary. But yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's still a lot left to be learned. And here I can show you the, the actual visual part of it. It's pretty simple. There's just a nav controller. And then here's your UI image view. Um, right, so it's set up so it's constrained to the edge of the nav bar, the very end of the, of the sides, and the end of the toolbar, so that if it ever gets flipped, it's not disproportional. And in the later, here you can get a glimpse into Mimi 2.0, there'll be a tab bar functionality. So you'll be able to select collection or table, and in the collection you can see a gr the grid view of all the, of all the memed images you made. And the, it's the same data also in a table view. You can see your, um, see your memes in, a, in rows. So that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe, and I hope you have a nice day.